Greetings comrades, this is Amigo and Caleb, back with another GZ Doom video, and uh, today I'm doing a mod that's uh, sort of controversial. This is a mod that uh, you either love it or you hate it. And it's a pretty interesting gameplay mod, it's called Hideous Destructor. Now anyone who's watched Icarus Liz will be immediately familiar with this mod. It's basically a Doom mod that strives for realism. It changes the gameplay to an exponential degree. Basically, you take more realistic damage, and one well-placed shot could kill you. Not to mention uh, imp fireballs, they are actually deadly. Like, you have to try to put yourself out or burn to death, and you have to attend to bleeding wounds. You have to, uh, so like you have to actually have to take your armor off and heal severe wounds and put the armor back on, which will obviously leave you exposed to enemy attacks and stuff. And there's a more realistic sense of aiming. Like, it's not like traditional do you just point and shoot here. It, um, take like a realistic, uh, first of all, like armor three, and like you actually have to realistically aim your gun. And then, you know, basically typical FPS games these days, you're like, you aim for the head, it's going to do a lot of damage. You aim somewhere else, it's not going to do that much. And, uh, yeah, I actually played this mod once back in the day, and, yeah, I just couldn't really get into it. I could see why some people like it and some people don't. But I figured I at least want to do a video of it. It has its own options here. And, uh... You did have quite a few different uh, parameters to change here. Like you can change out loadouts for all different characters and stuff. You can change the controls because it adds a few new things. Like uh, you can actually drop ammo. Again, you have to strip your armor off. So then you have to heal like severe wounds in your chest and stuff. You do crouch slide, okay. You can lean. You do like uh, evasive rolls and stuff. Yeah, I have spent too much time with this mod, so there's a great deal of things that I haven't even uh, touched on. And what's also interesting, there are a bunch of add ons for this uh, mod. So if you want to make it a little more challenging or a little more casual, I guess, you can do that. There's quite a few uh, different. Mods for Hideous Destructor. Yeah, this is a very, very complicated uh, mod here. But, uh, let's see. You do have quite a few different uh, loadouts to choose from. You got Assault Class, Heavy Assault, got Night Raid, Day Raid, Cover Fire. But naturally, each one's going to have different weapons, different equipment, stuff like that. Explosives, Anti Material. Shield Breaker, Hideous Destructor, VIP, also Sniper, Medic, Insurgent, Doomed Guy, Pistol and 50 Bullets. So, you want to go vanilla? Knock yourself out, Naturalist. Because showing up is half the battle, yeah. You play. <laughs> Naturist, I was about to say. Yeah, you play uh, Hideous Destructor. With nothing, you're just asking for a challenge. Like, bring it on. Lotto 18. 19. Okay, so you get 20 different loads. Again, you can customize them to your liking. We're gonna go with bare bones. We go with the salt hell on earth, hideous firing range. Let's go check out the firing range. This will give you a good opportunity to uh, get acclimated controls. You know, the, mo the movement's a little different. And you notice you're not like a. Uh, going in a straight line, just like regular Doom here. The movement's actually somewhat realistic. Your moot, your view bobs around a little bit. Your weapon bobs around. And as you're, you're actually taking footsteps. Here, quite a few different weapons at your disposal. Yeah, the, the HUD's pretty minimal too. But basically, you have this weapon, you gotta pay attention to your scope while you're aiming. I'm aiming at the sky right now, see so if we can aim at that. 
yeah, have recoil too, so you can't afford to go full auto because you won't be able to hit the bar outside of a barn otherwise. Yeah, grenade launcher. Yeah, you also have a little red dot sight up there, so if you want to use that, you can. Be a little more precise. Sight picture. Use a scope. I guess that's a sprint. How much faster than a regular walk? It was that combat roll. Yeah, it strives for realism here. Which might not be everyone's cup of tea when it comes to Doom mods. But you know, that's the beauty about the Doom mod community. There's something for everyone. Of course, I want to Use my sniper button and it's still pretty high. Yeah, you have to be a lot more methodical with your uh, combat. Like I said, one well played shot can kill you. So, let's go and show it. Homely, ugly, grotesque, hideous, and beautiful. Go grotesque, just to give you an idea. Set friends with him. You can see my my mouse DPI is so high. Tiny chainsaw. Oh, you have to actually activate weapons to pick them up. Oh shit! Oh, I killed him. Bandaging, press all fire to bandage yourself or you're bleeding. Yeah, this is something you gotta pay attention to in this mod. If you're bleeding, you have to patch it up, otherwise, you'll bleed out. Okay. Okay, that shows the iron size of the pistol there. Like, they even bounce around. Oops. Bleed out too, it seems. Well, as you saw, they can come back up. Go back up, not careful. Oh, it's a burst rifle, okay. Seems doing okay right now. Okay. Yeah, I'm good on armor. Let me check something real quick. Are, there might be an inventory system, which if that's the case... I don't think there is. Nope, maximum strength. Reduce arch file spam. Oh, that would be nice. Place spots of riflemen. Yeah. Nothing about encumbrance. I'm going to assume it's part of it. If you're carrying too much stuff, you'll slow down. And you're already a slow guy. So it basically... You're basically a standard marine. That turret killed me. Yeah, you really gotta pay attention to your surrounding stuff, because again... One more play shot can kill you. Oh yeah. yeah. You definitely want that crouch while aiming. Use all the quarter shots. I 
like a different number underneath the scope there. Hideous Destructor. It aims to be a more realistic experience for Doom. See, it took quite a bit of damage just from that one zombie. Synth Blood Panic. Yep, you actually had to hold the button. If I'm not mistaken, you can actually die from vanishing too much. That is. That's a grenade! Bad blue on my part. This SMG. I notice I'm moving a lot slower. You're gonna be staying still while you're banging yourself, cause uh around, blood moves around and you're gonna uh, more blood and make it difficult to get back up on your feet. You know, this is the first level due to that's a grenade, let's not select that again. You're moving really slow, not crushed or anything. I think it's due to the injuries I sustained. Look at how much the iron sights are bouncing. It's like I'm dancing with the music. Yeah, like I said, you gotta be more methodical with your combat. If you're surrounded by enemies, you're pretty much dead. said, imp fireballs are actually deadly here, like you can actually burn to death. Whoa, shit, what was that? Is he, is he, is he, is he on fire? I can't put myself out. I guess the more damage you take, your, like, your body's like going into shock. Who knows how much I'm shaking and stuff. Yeah. This amount is definitely not for everybody. Honestly, you want the more challenging the most challenging doom experience possible. This is the mod for you. If you're like me and you like to playing Doom and you know not dying so much, I will pass on this. Again, this is a mod you either love it or you hate it. Be it. I don't know, it's hard for me to... It's hard for me to justify playing it, but at the same time, it can be a very rewarding experience when you figure out how everything works, and you know, perfecting your combat techniques here. So like I said, this mod is not for everybody. If you like more realistic game experience, go for it. But for the arcade game experience, don't get it. It's very talk I say, no easy answers here. So anyway, this is Unforgiving Caleb signing out. Have a good day. Even when you feel low, you can still go. Even when you feel slow, you can still go. Even when there's no hope, you can still go. I never answered a no, man, I still go. Go, 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 go.